Okay, so we're going to move on, but we're going to probably run a little long on today's episode because we're going to continue. Week five. Straight um, to the end. Fifty-five. Let's see. First story in Alchemy Tower. Gardens. We all go to the gardens. Uh, oh, maybe I should meditate on how charming I am. <laughs> I spend the whole week in deep meditation. I wonder if something terrible will happen. <laughs> I gain magic in two mind. One day a beggar comes up to you and starts harassing you. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was a busy you night. Somebody stole my underpants that one night. So they weren't even my own underpants that I woke up in? That was a busy he night. He starts screaming. He keeps yelling at you, insisting that you took his underwear. Why would you do that? You managed to get away from him. I get a physique. Jeez. That night before you go to bed, you notice an unfamiliar pair of underpants on your floor. Where'd you get those? <laughs> Man, my life is a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Just... I like that we're getting um, things that we haven't seen before. And so... Yeah, yeah. That's It's so good for that. Just keeps on going. Forest. Chop wood, hunt. Well, chopping wood worked out pretty well for Rachel. Yeah, but everything's worked out well for Rachel. It weirdly oh, has. God, story of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna hunt. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, sir. Would you care to dance, she asks. I've been wanting to dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with, she sighs. <sighs> I'd love to dance. She giggles and takes you by the hand. She starts humming out a song, and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. You accidentally oh. <laughs> oh, no. step on her toes several times while dancing. And you give her lip warts. After the, <laughs> after the third time, she stops you. She thanks you for the dance and lips off <laughs> into the night. I'm so sad. You practice dancing a little. <laughs> you gain one finesse. My life is so sad. <laughs> The game or your life? Both. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let's just get drunk again until this thing's over. You spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day, while in the tavern, you hear a large commotion outside. Go outside. Outside, you see a crowd of angry people carrying torches and pitchforks. Aren't you a werewolf? Female. <laughs> I oh. think they're going oh. for the Oh. oh. Kill the dryad, they chant in a synchronized cacophony. They are all running to the middle of the town. Working your way through the mob, you find a dryad oh, no. running away. <laughs> I was just looking for someone to dance with, she sobs. She probably can't run very fast either because I stepped on her you toes. You crunched her so toes. Many times. And you gave her oh, warts. That's why she ran into town. She was running away from you. You shout at the top of your lungs for the crowd to stop what they're doing. You hear murmurs in the crowd. Soon enough, the crowd disperses. Oh. The dryad runs up to you and... Oh, I'm gonna oh, get your warts. You have warts. <laughs> Gives you a kiss on the cheek. You feel energy... You feel warts radiate through your body. You gain three warts. <laughs> Who goes... Oh, Joe. Man. Well, thank you for sending a magic dryad my way. Stepping oh, on her wow. toes. Magic warty dryad. I, I just it. wanted someone to dance with me. I spend the week stealing my mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it's as clean as it can be. I gain one mind, one physique, and one wealth. No, he's wearing gloves while he was cleaning, but the doctor was Ooh. not wearing gloves while he was doctoring. One day, a patient comes into the hospital with sores that no one's ever seen before. I'm sorry, man. It's my lip warts. I'm well, luck. <laughs> while walking by, uh, by his bedside, he looks at you and rudely asks for a glass of water. Give me a water. 
Or Sonic. I walk past the man, <laughs> pretending I never heard him. In a hospital. He dies soon afterward from dehydration. <laughs> oh my You're god. You're a terrible person. You're surprised at how little this bothers me. <laughs> wow. You gain one mind? Question mark? <laughs> All that meditating. <laughs> the yog. It's all, oh, it's not my turn. It's Rachel's turn. Oh, the yog. <laughs> it's almost here. Almost. Almost. Okay. Edward James almost. <laughs> I should have laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> We do want to encourage Joe. No, never. Let's see, where am I gonna have this? Alright, go to that alchemy tower. How do I get there? Just, just up, up and down. Up, up, up and down. I'm trying to do it. Oh. There you go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna brew. I should probably not brew a potion. I'm gonna brew. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna brew a clean, clean lab. lab. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paying a wolf no, for your labor chemicals. and gain a physique and a magic. One day an artificer stops by for a visit. She's adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos, she's got some bad allergies, and she's followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. It's kind of amazing. The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. However, as she leaves, she turns to you and says, <laughs> You. Of course. I like you. She offers you a choice of one of her trinkets. Something good for Rachel? Yeah, why not? Hmm, clever thoughts or swift movement. Um, let's see. Let's be clever. The ring grants you three mind. The alchemists are jealous. <laughs> good. Hmm. They're still in alchemy jelly school. Whoa. I'm going to drink again. It's not going well. You spend the entire week getting wasted. But what am I going to do now? You gain two charm and one physique. Oh no, you can go dance with your pretty little oh, okay. dryad. And we'll have all of our warts together. You have wart babies? <laughs> wart babies. <laughs> Those are my wart babies. <laughs> Certainly not mine. <laughs> one day a fortune teller sets up at one of the tavern's tables. She offers to read anybody's fortune for a small sum. Mm. Yes, please. You spend one wealth. The fortune teller takes your hand and begins shower showering you with promises of love and wealth. She doesn't really go into any detail, and the whole time you can't help but feel that this is all an act. Underwhelmed and slightly <laughs> poorer, you can't help but feel like you wasted your money. You have had the worst oh, adventure. Man. That night, oh, oh. while walking home, the fortune teller runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. Somebody likes me. Like attracting yeah, warts. She has warts. <laughs> There's the love part, oh, she says with a toothless smile. Oh, pretty. Then she hands you a giant oh, sack of gold. It's a terrible I'm business model. <laughs> Gosh. Go ahead. <laughs> There's that's, the wealth, right, she says. Yeah, when she was at my house, she would tell me. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. So I started telling her every time. It was okay. fine. You gained two wealth. Still think I'm a half? The giant bag was only two gold. It was a yeah, sack. It's a, a bag. And it's it not gold, it it's wealth. full of money. Wow. It's wealth. It's, it's a representation. Pass the thing. With two gold in it. We gotta move faster because this episode's running way long. Oh my god. Gotta, gotta, gotta move fast. Compete in the fight. You spend the week fighting Bruce in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. One day in the middle of a match, a dryad runs into the field. Would anyone like to dance? <laughs> she begins asking. Boos and hisses are up from the crowd. Before you can even react, one of the two fighters. Oh! Ouch. What? Has already cleaved the dryad in two. A terrible shriek booms out from the, from the wound. Close enough. Brenna, they cleaved the dryad oh, in two. Oh, stop. Stop. Okay. Bye bye. The crowd bye -bye. erupts into applause. The dryad's corpse then explodes yeah. into a flurry of leaves that cuts everyone nearby. You lose one physique. That's super lame. Ah, uh, you could have saved her. No, I, could. I had no option. I spend the week cutting down trees for the village. 
I gained two physique and earned myself one wealth. One day, I come across a, people, a group of people in the woods. From the expressions on their faces, they appear to be lost. <laughs> Rob them. Oh. I confront the group and try to help them find their way back to town. With ease, I lead everyone back to town. Extremely grateful, the group gives me a small token of their appreciation. I gained two wealth. Is Alicia? The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us, but then it ends. <laughs> we see the graveyard our home has become. Our home! Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we? Past saving? Rachel, choose your role. Down. Uh, I'm super charming. You should, should be the town drunk. The leader. <laughs> you should be the drunk. <laughs> the charmingest drunk ever. I mean, that would work. <laughs> I'm in charge. I take it upon myself to be the leader of the survivors. I expertly delegate and prioritize tasks. I give motivating speeches and act as an effective mediator in disputes. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Ching! Well, we'll be the smelter. We're the doctor, because you got finesse and mind. How do I move it? <laughs> Maybe don't be the doctor. <laughs> what do I do? You gotta go up on this thing right here. I did. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the blue. What? <laughs> I'm looking at Rachel's oh. thing and thinking like the whole thing. Time supposed to deliver to another color. pillow, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yard. I just want to take a second. This guy is very confused about what helping sick people is. First he was heading <laughs> to a bed with nobody in it. And now he's helping <laughs> sick by moving lumber around? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I boards have gone to my head. You're able to fix up most of your patients in no time at all. Probably because they're not people. Yeah. And you're, you're building buildings. <laughs> he's building patients. This means there are more people to help with rebuilding the town. Oh, my hero! <laughs> <laughs> this helps the survival effort considerably. Alright. I almost am disappointed. I kind of like it better when I destroy things. I, I know. It's, I'm, I'm, we're doing too well. I feel like I should go pick something terrible. Uh, I, will, I will be the smelter. Yes. You volunteer to smelt... Your now useless coins into building. Oh, you need more. Yeah, you need wealth for smelting. Well, I screwed up. I could have been the builder, and that would have been good. Yeah, but... you don't have much in the way of coin, but what you do have, you melt down. I made this. <laughs> the small amounts of metal you provide are enough to make a few tools and maybe a door hinge or two. Wow, they must have giant coins. This this helps the survival effort a little. You lose one. I only lose one, but I used all my wealth. Well, wealth. Wealth. I, all right. So, I'm actually I'm glad, though, because I picked one that I didn't realize would be not as good. Joe finishes off. I take it upon myself to help conjure up supplies for the town. With my magic, I summon a large amount of supplies. With some effort, I'm summoning more than enough lumber and food for the town. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. And so, we set about our tasks, once more living our lives, this time in a way we might not ever have expected, or even wanted. But, in the end... It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if, it, if we will ever be, can ever be, ready for it? We got the medium ending. <laughs> Which is kind of the most boring yeah, ending. I kind of like it, actually. It didn't yeah. tell us all the things that happened to us. Okay? Oh, it will. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Here you go, I'll let you go through that. The Yogg traumatized me deeply. The game. Despite everything starting to be okay now, something in you snapped. Maybe it was witnessing a baby floating face down in the water. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, after the doctor slit its throat. Maybe it was when you found a man skewered on a fence, still squirming slightly, his eyes and Oh my god. Wide. Was it me? Also, I'm a vampire. Perhaps it was when you saw the group of kids that were trapped in 
the school and resorted to eating their rotten teacher's corpse. Oh man, this game just got so better. This is incredible. <laughs> Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. <laughs> you drink so much, you're not entirely sure what is real and what's an illusion. One day you look into a mirror and your eyes are empty. Hollow. So I'm both the leader and the drunk. <laughs> and, the just what I and the vampire. So Rachel, who had a great time, didn't turn out so well. However, <laughs> our doctor. The yacht changed you, probably for the better. With the town being rebuilt, you eventually decide to retake your role as a doctor in the hospital. There you make friends with another doctor. The pillow babies are all safe. The two of you do everything together. You're inseparable by our lip boards. <laughs> Eventually, you even decide to get an apartment and Aww. live with each other. Then your, <laughs> oh, no. oh, then your friend gets married and everything changes. Their spouse has to move away to a new town, and your friend follows. <laughs> you try to keep in touch by mail, but the letters start to come less and less frequently. You try to fraternize with the other doctors. Well, they're all nice people, nothing can compare. Can you come drink with me? <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Sad life. With the yog over and the town being rebuilt, you decide to seek out the beast that infected you with that violent disease. Armed with only a crossbow and a small pocket knife, you venture out into the forest. For a few days, you find nothing. Then you try howling out to the night sky. In what seems like only a moment, you hear heavy footsteps running straight for you. You fire a bolt into the darkness and hear a loud squeal. Peering into the blackness of the night, you spot your foe, sprawled on the forest floor with your bolt right through its skull. You behead it with your pocket knife and bring it back down. Back down. to town. But, yeah, what did I say? Back down. That's what I meant. You become a celebrated hero. Alright. Oh, that's you, I guess. Yeah. yeah. While the town is being rebuilt, I decide to move out into the woods. I become the friendly <laughs> local lumberjack? <laughs> and fashion myself a log cabin? I guess. You had, like, magic out <laughs> yeah. the top of the chart. I spend most of my days chopping down giant trees and carrying the logs to the town gate. I make friends with the dryads of the forest and spend every weekend at their wild river parties. Nice. All in all, I lead a pretty good life. Huh. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with everything I did in the game. Up yeah, that That's was the most like, disconnected one I've seen, actually. Yeah, me too. I think you chopped wood a few times. I chopped wood you? once, yeah. But like it was like just the like and it's like that's the one also, that's where he was happy. Also, if you chopped down all the big trees, why would the dryads want to hang out with you? Yeah. Good point. Yeah. That's how dryad babies are born in this world. Oh. oh. <laughs> they're, they're stuck in the ground. We free them. Okay. Oh. Well, let's oh. let's wrap it up. So this was the og. This was way too much episode. It might be two episodes actually. I might split or well three. I might split it. You should, but, uh, you should live with your decisions now. Uh, next time on Insta Replay Live, we'll be doing something else. Bye.